folks, I'm scrambling to get set up here. You hear that? Got us a crop duster. That's from the field right out yonder. I've been running around trying to get some good vantage points. I've got some uh, video of that crop duster working. It's, they're awful fun to watch. Also, earlier I was trying to get set up here and a nice doe was walking right down through this trail and by the time I got the camera recording and this and that, I think I caught a glimpse of her rear end getting back around the trees here. Hopefully you can see it out there. I've got some uh, closer footage. We have a beautiful sunrise, a peaceful morning, crop duster, a deer already. What a delightful day. Hang on just a minute while I get set up. Okay, are we recording? Does it look like we're recording? Am I in the shot? Yes, you are. The top of my head's not like cut off or anything like nope, that? Nope, your, your whole body. My whole body. Well, I'm not so sure that's a good thing. But hey, anyone, everyone, welcome back. We're here at the observation deck. Decided to let that uh, daredevil uh, finish his job. It was getting kind of noisy there for a while. So I've got set up. I have a live studio audience here today. Go ahead and clap, live studio audience. All right. So. The topic of today's video is Case Walt Knives. Um, I did a YouTube short the other day on this uh, small swell center jack and a comment was left uh, asking about Walt Knives. So I just thought I'd take this occasion to do a, a small little video here on the Case Vault Knife program. So what the program is, is Case can only produce so many patterns every year and they have so many patterns uh, they store some of them away and I guess think of it like McDonald's and the, the McRib you know fast food joints can only have so many menu items uh, especially these days with drive throughs you got to keep their their menu, menu uh, pretty short so they can always have supplies on hand and get them pumped out and again in a fast manner these days well Case has kind of done the same thing uh, with the vault program. They're, they can't have too many patterns in production at one time. So what they've done is every year they've come out with one pattern that's been in the vault and they make that pattern for a year and then they put that pattern back into the vault. So again for 2022 it was the small swell center jack and they come in a, a variety of different uh, covers on them. This one happens to be the uh, smooth purple curly maple is what this one is. In 2021, their vault knife was the uh, mini copper lock. And I'll do some close-ups or uh, some pictures of these later so you can get a, a better look at them. And then in 2020, it was the pocket hunter. Of course, this is a very small version of their a uh, very old traditional uh, full-size hunter version of the knife. Those are the three that I have. And in doing research, I, I can see in 2019, uh, the vault pattern was the Barlow. In 2018, it was the doctor's knife. And in 2017 was the Congress. Now, doing more searches online, I can't see anything prior to 2017. However, I did see a, an article in 2007 talking about the Case Vault program. So I don't know if they actually produced or issued a knife prior to 2016, 2015, 2014 or not. I, can't, I wasn't able to find any information. So if anyone has any, any, any information on that, well, please let me know. So those are the three I have. So why does Case do this? Well. For one, as I explained, they can only have so many patterns out on the factory floor. But secondly, it's a good marketing ploy. It uh, creates excitement. Uh, those that like to collect case knives are always wondering what's 
the next, you know, vault pattern is going to be for that particular year. So that's the long and short of it. I'm going to uh, include some more video of that uh, daredevil in the sky there doing his crop dusting. Oh, there goes a little bunny rabbit. We're just full of nature here today. And, uh, but before I do that, I'm going to bring my uh, guest on, on camera here for just a moment. This is my friend Dan. And Dan likes to come out here to the observation deck hi. too. Say hi everybody. Hi everybody out there in TV land. <laughs> so, we were just out here yesterday and you were showing me a knife that you've carried for many years. Here. Mind breaking it out for everyone? Yeah. Okay, so what we have here How long have you had this? Oh, a long time. A long time? Been using it every day for a long time? Every day. Okay. What we have here is a colonial. Let me get around behind the camera so I can get a good shot of this. Get it to focus in maybe. Well, that's an old colonial here. Not wanting to focus the best here. There's a better shot. Anyway, he's been carrying this knife around for many, many years. And a lot of the action has gone out of the blades. So I propose to him, he stop over at my garage one of these days and we'll try to fix that up and oil it up and clean it out and maybe we can get the action back into that old uh, slip joint knife. What do you think of that? Sounds like a good plan. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, everyone, until next time, have a very delightful day.